even if the story has been told many a time, a new perspective can always add a new light on it. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Zone of Interest. I went and saw this film a few weeks ago. It was only my wife and I in the theaters. Probably one of the better experiences that I didn't have to worry about anyone on their phone, didn't have to worry about anyone talking except my wife and I, because this movie is very much an auditory experience. The specific idea of what the zone of interest is, it is following the Commandant's family of a concentration camp, the lives of his wife, himself, his children, all the while living in a home right next to a concentration camp. And you never actually truly see the inside of the camp because the means in which Jonathan Glazer, the director of this film, portrays the story as though you are an outside observer. The zone of interest is this house, this backyard, this garden, and the sounds, the sights, and the smells that are around it. And this family that not only deals with it, but is disgustingly comfortable with it. It's to the point where they do not even see how lost from humanity they are, even when people passively confront them about it. I knew that I wasn't going to get an, a story. I knew I wasn't going to get much of like a very singular performance because of how the film was portrayed. I was going to get an experience and that's what you get because when you watch this movie, it really does pay to have a good sound system. If I am going to watch this movie again, I actually probably would wear headphones to do it. Because Glazer is describing the environment that is happening near them with the sounds you are hearing. You're hearing the pain of people, the death of people, the labor and slave work, the smoke from the chimneys, the burning from the ovens, the trains pulling more and more people into the camp. I'm going to quote my mother here, but one of the best things she ever told me about film is that the less you see, the more you can make it terrifying in your own mind. And funnily enough, she was talking about Silence of the Lambs with that movie in comparison to Hannibal, but that does carry over to a lot of different films, especially horror, but it works exceedingly well in this film because you are imagining what you are hearing, you are visualizing what you are hearing, and it terrifies you. There are some elements of the film where there are actual pretty, as visual as they can get, like when the father is with his boys down the river and then all of a sudden this, this viscous material is in the water and it comes down the river and you realize that that's the ashes of the people that they've been burning. My wife and I would talk kind of just back and forth about certain elements. We've always had an interest in this time of history and to see a fresh idea about something that has been talked about and portrayed in different mediums so many a time. It was a hard experience, but it was also a refining experience. To see something again, but in a different means of visual storytelling, it was a very unique experience. This is not for everyone in terms of how it is portrayed. Like I said, the lack of character narrative. While there are some elements in it that would deserve of it, you're not really there. You are, again, watching from afar. So you're having the events play out before you. And there really isn't a beginning and an end in terms of the story. If, if anything, the ending is so abrupt. I almost felt like I got whiplash, but I liked how it ended. But I kind of just felt, oh, Zone of Interest, while in my opinion, maybe not deserving of Best Picture nomination, and maybe even the Glazer nomination might be a bit over the top in my opinion. It definitely deserves anything it gets for sound editing and sound mixing. I think that was really well done if it's anything in, I can't remember if it was nominated for cinematography, but I would definitely at least give it a nom, not a win, a nom, because again, how it did it was pretty unique. It was pretty well done. If I'm correct, I read that they had a lot of cameras rolling at the same time when scenes were playing out. They would place them and then they wouldn't move them. They would just keep them where they are and obviously tune the focus. Zone of interest, I would definitely give it a shot, especially if you have an interest in this part of history. It's, again, it's not an easy movie to watch, more so listen to, but I feel it should be watched. It should be experienced. 
So in the end, I'm going to give the zone of interest a 5 out of 7. I liked what it did. I liked what it attempted. I appreciate it for trying something new, especially in a medium of storytelling about a subject matter that has been done a lot. Not to say that it doesn't deserve it, because there are still many, many stories about the Holocaust that have not yet been told. This is another one, and it just so happens to offer a unique visual experience. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say if you saw this movie. Please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, see you guys next time.